Oakland A's UK Oakland A's UK The Oakland A's UK The Oakland A's UK Hello and welcome to the Oakland A's UK podcast. I'm your host as always, Matt Smith. Now, we are recording this podcast on the 14th of July, which is important to note because as of right now, I've checked MLB.com a few minutes ago, there will be MLB baseball in 2020. Supposed to start on the 23rd with the A starting on the 24th. However, given the situation in the States right now, that could all have changed by the time you listen to the podcast. So will everything be binned off? Well, we don't know. But surely the A's UK podcast is nothing if not a haven for positivity, hope and joy. So (laughs) if we believe it will happen, fingers crossed, everything is going to be fine. Don't worry. Or something like that. Anyway, to reinforce the point, I have two fine gentlemen joining me today. First up is my fellow A's UK member, Dom. Dom, how are you doing? What have you been up to recently? Hi Matt, I'm doing very well. Um, been enjoying uh, some of our newfound freedoms, although I've not actually ventured to a pub yet. <laughs> um, and in uh, Twitter world, I've been uh, uh, nagging at uh, Dave Caval to uh, open up the bleachers to uh, let the bleacher crew put their flags up. Um, I've sent uh, I've sent UKA's um, banners to Will. And I was chatting with George just now. Um, they've been in touch, and I believe they're uh, going to the Coliseum sometime later this week or over the weekend to put them out. Fantastic! So, so fingers crossed, our banners get there. <laughs> yeah, the power of A's UK in action right now. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also joined. He was such a popular guest in our Best of the A's team podcast that we brought him back once again. Friend of A's UK, New York A's member Jay. How are you doing, Jay? Uh, I'm I'm good. Currently, I have a cat rover sitting on my lap, uh, trying to eat my headphones. Um, this is this is funny because uh, I've been at my computer all day, and she hasn't paid any attention to me. Once uh, we started recording this podcast, she decided to uh, climb all over me <laughs> to eat your the velvet your brick headphones. <laughs> yes. Well, there we go. Yeah, she must like the English accents, maybe. Maybe that's what's doing. Well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I would assume she can't hear them because of the headphones. But oh, right. You well, know. you never know cat, cats, do you? Cat hearing. Yeah. Magical creatures, cats. You never know quite what they're thinking, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, judging by its reaction, no. Just wants to eat your headphone cable. Yeah, she's a, she's a Tigers fan, so. All right. Off she goes. Well, yeah, plenty to catch up on then, and we shall start with the obvious topic to start with, which is COVID-19. The trend across the states is not great. I mean, we've not done a great job of it here in the UK either, although it seems to be sort of vaguely under some sort of control in some areas. That's probably about as confident as I can be on it. But in the states, things seem to be going from bad to worse. Um, Illustrated by the front cover of the San Francisco Chronicle today, the big headline there is pulling back. Governor halts reopening and orders venues across the state to shut down. So, yeah, so this is a story where because of rises in cases in California, they are having to roll back on some of the um, easing off of the lockdown measures in terms of bars and things like that. They're all having to close again, which is not good news. And, of course, it's not good news to be trying to start up a professional sports league during all of this. Um, guys, what is your kind of gut feeling about things? They seem to be confident in pressing ahead, but do you think it's all going to go swimmingly or do you think it's all doomed to failure? What do you think, Dom? Oh, you could have started with Jay on that one. Right. Over to Jay. <laughs> no, I'll go. <laughs> uh, it's difficult to tell. Um, I suspect it'll go ahead. Um, these things are like big wagons once they start going it's difficult to stop them i think yeah um they, they'll have momentum behind it regardless of the numbers i'm not saying if it's right or wrong but i suspect it will go ahead um is my gut feel mm. um jay <laughs> um, yeah, what's, what's so the yeah, position I mean, out there in the states really jay in terms of what's the, the public feeling or is there not really a concerted public feeling 
I'm, well, so there's many different public feelings. Um, as you know, uh, it just it's such geographically, it's such a large country. So uh, a, a lot of the um, different, uh, a lot of the, a lot of the different regions of the country are having completely different experiences uh, with COVID. So it's not like you know, with the Bundesliga, you have a small, generally small area uh, in comparison. And you can kind of say that everyone in Germany is in a fairly similar situation when it comes to when the pandemic hit versus when they're starting to get over it. With us, I live in New York. New York got hit hard, fast, and early. And then yesterday, uh, I believe, was the first day that um, we didn't have a single death um, in New York from uh, related to COVID. So we're at a different point in the timeline than the rest of the country. Florida didn't get hit as hard as we did early. And now Florida is getting hit. And now California who got hit a little bit hard and then apparently avoided it for a while is now they're getting hit hard again. So it's, I think it depends on who you ask and where they live. Now um, I think the vast majority of people will tell you that they want to watch baseball. I don't know if the vast majority of people, think that playing baseball is safe um, or that uh, the bubbles that you have to create to play baseball are worth it like you know you'd have to uh, players would have to avoid anyone that they know that's at risk um, they'd just you know be cut off from them whether it's a grandparent or whatever and it, it, that sounds like something that they should be doing anyways you know uh, whether they're playing baseball or not uh, but it's it's something that you have to take into consideration uh, I think the the league will definitely start. Um, and until recently, I was pretty confident that they would play all the way through. Uh, I don't know now because uh, the MLS, our our soccer league out here, uh, started up and they already had two teams uh, drop out of their their restart tournament or whatever they're doing. Um, I think it's uh, the brilliantly named MLS's Back Cup or MLS's Back Tournament. So, <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, so two of those teams dropped out. I, I can't imagine that Major League Baseball would continue to carry on if an entire team had to drop out. I don't know what they would do in that situation, but um, that's we might we might find out. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that we'll be able to get through the season with, uh, you know, we, we might miss a few stars or whatever, but I maybe we'll get through if everyone behaves properly. 